Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and my flutter tutorials and in this video I'll talk about uh, some design part where uh, you must have seen the new gmail interface if you, if you haven't then please update your android or ios or gmail application and on the left hand side you can see that this is how the gmail app looks like and from the title you might be knowing that we are talking about the floating action button here specifically so if you will see this floating action button this has four colors one is red on the top then blue in the uh, right hand side then green in the bottom and uh, some yellow on the left hand side so we'll see that how we can design such kind of floating action button here with our floating action button so this is the flutter ui kit so if you know about flutter ui kit this is uh, one sample wrapper which i have created which is available on github so uh, you can go here you can go to the timeline part here and if you'll click go so if you are using ios device then it will look different and for android it has a different ui so if you'll click here then you can go to tweet section or feed section so in feed i'm not sure if there is a floating action button no then uh, if you if you will go to tweets then there is a floating action button which is of background white and with a black plus icon so what i want i want to change this floating action button to make something like this which is the gmail one so if I'll try to little bit zoom here, then you can see we want to make something like this where you have uh, a yellow, not this is not yellow. This is kind of an amber color as I can uh, like understand. And then we have something like this black, uh, this red color and this, this blue and then, then this green tea. So how we can proceed. So if I'll go to the code, then you can see that in the floating action button part, I'm just using a floating action button widget with on pressed like nothing and background color white, which we obviously want. And then um, in the child part, we have an icon which is called icons.add. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to decide that, you know, I don't want this child here. I'll, what I'll do, I'll actually paint uh, these particular colors on this floating action button so let me just zoom this a little bit if i can make it a little bit big bigger uh, so it's it's fine i guess so now uh, what we have to do we will use custom painter for this so I'm, i'll just remove this part of the code the icon button uh, the icon part and now you will see that if we have the blank floating action button now what i'll do i'll make in the child part i can use this uh, custom painter so this custom painter widget takes a child as well as the foreground painter and as well as the painter so for the child i will just give it a, a blank container okay and you can like replace it with size box or whatever you want to use but container would be a great fit here and uh, because we want to have something like a container where we can draw and on the foreground painter we will specify a custom painter so um, let's say we name it as floating painter which is not yet available and now i'll make uh, on the bottom i'll make this floating painter so i can uh, use this particular plugin which is uh, made by nash so shout out to nash for creating this awesome flutter snippet you can um, download it via the extension uh, on the visual studio code i'll provide the link in the description as well and then if i'll just click here then it will create the custom uh, painter for me it is asking if i want to give it a name so i can give it a floating painter name okay and then i will see that you know this is the oh there i missed something so now it is fine so now if i'll just save it and i'll if i'll go back then nothing you will see nothing so first of all what we will try to do we will try to draw this amber kind of color which we can see here it's definitely amber then we will come uh, like compare and uh, we have one more like option that we can pick this color from any tool and then we can replace the color so we have all the options available so now uh, we should not worry about this should repaint method and then this rebuild semantics we are not gonna focus on that but we will be focusing on this paint method where we get the canvas as well as the size okay the size will help us in deciding that way from where to where we can draw a line so first of all we need a paint object so i'll say paint p1 for uh, yellow color so i can also say the yellow paint or i should say amber paint 
okay and then i'll make it a new object of this particular uh, paint class and then i can decide what kind of color i want to give so i'll say let's say colors dot amber and then i will decide now that uh, what kind what uh, width i can provide so i'll provide stroke width as let's say five and then it's done so we have the amber paint now right now still we don't have anything because we haven't drawn anything now we will use this canvas um, let's say canvas dot draw and line so draw line so now draw line what will do it will draw this line for us so this line which we want so now if you will see that it takes three parameters one is the offset or offset p1 sorry and second one is offset p2 and third one is the paint object so now uh, paint amber paint we have so we will just replace it here and then we need two points one is the starting point which have an x-axis and y-axis and second one is the end point which again have an x-axis and y-axis so if you will see here then this uh, amber color here is start somewhere uh, from x-axis it has some distance and starting from there and its height is the uh, total height by 2 so what we can write here we can say that it is starting from the size we will take the size dot width and whatever the width is we can just take 25% uh, of it okay that would be the width and then for the size part we can take so first of all we have to use the offset here so i'll just um, use offset and then we can provide the uh, dx and dy value so for dx i'll just paste that code the size dot width whatever the width we want to start from uh 25th percent of that width so let's say this will be the 25th percent and height should be the whatever the height of this particular area by 2 so 0 0.5 so half of it so then we will get the starting point so this is our starting point and then we want to go to the half point so at the half position so if i'll use the offset here so at the half position the x-axis value would be size dot width into 5 uh, 0 0.5 which is exactly the half and the height should be the same because we are not changing the height we are drawing something like that so now if you will see you can see this uh, uh, amber color here on this particular screen which is our simulator screen and it looks pretty like same i guess so and i cannot zoom it i guess let me just try if i can zoom it now i cannot zoom this particular simulator but i uh, will see it later but right now it's looking good we can again decrease the uh, like if i'll just uh, zoom out from here then you will see that it's uh, kind of same we if you want we can just decrease its size a little bit like the space we are taking 0 0.25 we can make it 0 0.26 or 27 so if i'll make it 0 0.27 then it looks much more like this so it's fine so it's 0 0.27 let's say now we will draw the green part so uh, for green part we will take another paint and now we will call it let's say green paint okay and now the color for this would be green so green or uh, if i'm not wrong this is the green only but uh, if you want to play with some other colors you can play so we have the green paint now we will copy this particular code and we will paste it here and uh, uh, rather than amber paint we will replace it with green paint now uh, we have the our starting point is the middle of it so whatever our end point was uh, the last time that would be our starting point so we will uh, copy this portion of code from here and we will paste it in this particular portion where we are starting from okay so this is like this and then for the end point our x-axis would be the same because you know we are not changing the x-axis we are just changing the height of it so x-axis would be 0 0.5 which is pretty good and the height would be let's say let's take the full height and then we will uh, remove the portion which we don't need so now if i'll just refresh it you can see i have this uh, green height here but i just want it to be same like how uh, we decreased it for amber so what i'll do i'll just minus from this the size dot height 
into 0 0.27 which was the starting point for us so that that is the gap which we want so this is now looking good and this is perfectly fine and uh, yeah if you want to increase the size you can increase or decrease however you want to manage it and we will see that now the third color would be the blue one so I'll take this and copy it again and now I'll call it blue paint so uh, this time the color would be blue and now what I'll do I'll just copy this particular piece of code again and then I'll paste it here and then I'll replace this green paint as blue paint now um, the starting point for this particular point would be the x-axis would be 0 0.5 and y-axis uh, the height would be the same so this will be the starting point here as well and now the ending point would be we want the whole width so we will take the whole width and then we will decrease some value and the for the height height would be the 0 0.5 of it like half of it so we can just say 0 0.5 now if I'll just leave it then you can see that it is taking the whole width which we don't want so we need to remove the portion which we don't want so size dot width into 0 0.27 because 0 0.27 is what the margin we are taking so now you will see that we have this uh, uh, blue I, uh, blue particular line as well now similarly we will make one more last which is the red point red paint basically so red paint will change the color to red and then um, we will copy this code again and now we will replace this as red paint and this time the uh, starting point would be again the middle of it so it will be same but the width or the x-axis is gonna be the same again because um, you know uh, when we are going upwards then we actually so so we are going to change the x-axis in fact so x-axis would be the half of it exactly the half of it so i'll just copy this part and i'll paste it here and the height the height would be um the total height which is going upwards okay so the height would be the whatever the height it have so let let me just try so what we will do we will take the full height so now let's try and rebuild it it will go downside okay so we don't want to make it downside so what we will do we will take the portion of height from 0, 0.0 into 0, 0.27 which is the margin from the start so now if i'll just print like this then you can see that we have this particular height and yeah it looks kind of same i don't feel that we have like changed it anyway and if i'll just uh, compare it now like this then yes we have achieved it correct so this is our gmail icon now and uh, yeah it was pretty easy right so you can modify it a little bit if you want then you can change this particular margin from 0 0.27 to maybe a uh, more than this but but this is how it will work so thanks guys for watching i mean this is all about it and it was pretty easy right so if you, if you want to play with custom paint and custom painter then you, you have like this example plus um, the signature example there are a lot of examples you can try and uh, shout out to one more guy who inspired me to making for making this video because he was making some kind of gmail clone and then i saw his uh, floating action button and i was like you know it can be similar to gmail as well so that's where i thought that i should make this video and uh, this was pretty easy so i i mean this is this is what i wanted to show so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video then press the like button if you are not the subscriber then subscribe to the channel and keep fluttering bye bye take care and i'll see you in the next video